What up YouTube? Another installment of Balasong Fridays here. Uh, got another Balasong here for you. It's actually manufactured by Superknife, another Chinese company. Let's take a look at her. So the box comes in. Pretty big box for a Balasong. Let's get that out the way. Comes with a plastic molded sheath for belt carry. Uh, which is, I guess it's cool. Uh, I guess it's cool, but uh, to me, I just don't really ever carry a ballast on that way. Or I really don't carry ballast songs. I just flip them at home. Uh, good retention on it, though. Takes a minute to get her out. Really good retention on it. And here she is. Okay. Let's uh, pan back a little bit here. There we go, that's better. Alright, the overall length of this guy is 9 inches, 4 inches on the blade there. Satin finish on the handles with a Perlox inlay right there. Give it kind of a classy or a classic Balasong look to it. As far as <clears throat> the construction, all Torx construction on this guy, so that's always an added plus. You can go ahead and adjust them as needed as you get your break in going on there. Uh, the blade on this you're using 440C uh, hardened at 57 which is the usual thickness of the blade is 0.125 so it's uh, your average there and the weight is 4.8 ounces so as far as weight goes it's right in the middle of the road uh, tolerances on it as usual it's your average there of course as you go to break it in it may give you uh, it may increase a little bit but like I said Torx construction not a problem you could always adjust that like always if you go to adjust that make sure you go back in with that uh, Loctite uh, as far as the latch goes it swings open kind of freely pretty easy uh, the tolerances or the actually the uh, the tolerances on how it flips is a just it's it feels like um it flips good the tolerances are there it feels a little gummy like it's slow uh, but this ballast song is brand new. I believe it has something to do with the nylon washers that are on the inside. So as you go to break in there, it should be a little, it should move a little freely. Now it's not like, when I mean gummy, it's kind of like a little, it feels just a tad slow. Just a tad slow. But I, I imagine, you know, you go ahead and, and, and break it in. It should work a little bit better. Or um, if you guys, I don't know what you guys use to lubricate your knives or whatever. Uh, this Tough Glide stuff is just awesome. Uh, it's The lube gets in there and it dries up right where it needs to. It stays long. It doesn't leave that oily residue all over the knives, which I hate. I've got OCD like crazy when it comes to that. So fingerprints just drive me nuts. And that is probably the best thing I've found so far to lubricate knives. And to keep, you know, so you, and it doesn't have so much that's, uh, you know, all over the place. And you have to wipe it off every five seconds. So that... Usually I put a dab of that on every knife I get in the beginning just to ease the break in and just make life a little easier for me in the long run. Um, as far as fit and finish on this, fit and finish on this could be a little better. Um, let's take a look at it. That Perlox is just not really 100%, but it's not bad at all. Um, some of the milling around where the torque screws come into play is not really... 100%, but you have to be really, really particular to to notice that. And I just wanted to bring that to you guys' attention there. But to me, it's not a big issue. It seems to be like my big thing is Torx construction and that, and pretty much your that play, that up and down handle play when you first get it, um, which is a good indication on whether or not the pivot holes have been milled correctly, um, whether or not that blade is going to hit the inside of your uh, inside of the handles. So. But overall, uh, pr pretty nice, pretty nice knife. Something different, really cool. The weight's there. It's your average size. Nothing too crazy going on with this, but definitely a nice ballast song. And for the price, this guy's twenty-seven dollars, middle of the road, um, and not a bad deal. Uh, if you look on uh, Knifezilla, where I get all my ballast songs at, it's listed under the Bally Tac section or Tactical Ballast Song section. And uh, you should be able to find it there. They have a bunch of these, uh, all different 
uh, handle configurations, knife configurations, roughly around the same size and weight. So a bunch to choose from and moderately priced in between the $24 to $35 range. So always cool. So guys, if you have any questions, please let me know. Like I said, I think I got my lighting issue figured out here a little bit. Uh, my camera is wanting to focus in and out a little bit more now with the lighting change. So it's all learning experience. I appreciate all your support. Uh, all subs, awesome. I really do. Just got, got any comments, any questions, post them below. You guys have a good one. Peace.